So I wanted to chat a little bit about how to find your models for your courses, because it is best if you can to push yourself to find your own models. I have a lot of people who ask me to get their models and that's fine. And I know I can do it because I already have an established following and clientele. So if I post something on my social media, I'm going to get a ton of requests, especially for a free service. So, but the real goal of this is for you to build up your own confidence and your knowledge in how to approach people and how to promote your own services and to have confidence in yourself. I have a cool story about this. Actually, my first course that I ever took was waxing. I went to Alberta and I didn't know anyone. I was in Lethbridge, Alberta, and I was doing a waxing course and the school had a bunch of models lined up, but they didn't have enough for me to finish my course. Actually, I had gone through so many models and so I needed one last model for my exam and there was absolutely no one and think about how awkward it is to go up to someone and ask to wax their bush like honestly some stranger does not want to <laughs> volunteer to be your model in that circumstance but it's a lot easier to find someone who's willing to volunteer for a lash lift in hand or classic lash extension so be grateful for that at least that you're not trying to do another course with a little bit more intimate personalized service that requires a lot more trust <laughs> So anyways, I ended up calling a friend and he, it was a him actually, he was driving along and he was gonna be going through Lethbridge and thank God he offered to stop in and be my model because otherwise I wouldn't have had a model for my exam. And I had asked completely everyone that I had come into contact with in that town, it would have been really difficult. And mostly because just having to do those more personalized waxing services where people actually have to take their clothes off and stuff. So that is a little bit more difficult for you to prepare for, but um, with a lash lift and tint or classic lashes, you're gonna find that lots of people will wanna be your model. You can actually ask a lot of different people and it's not as intimate and it's a much more desirable service that people are gonna be excited to hear that you're gonna offer to them for free. So the best models that you can find are gonna be people who are really close to you already, people who know you, trust you, have a really good rapport with you, like your family or your friends, because these are the people that are gonna to talk to about you, who know you best and who are gonna be your best advocates. If you get someone who's like random off the street who doesn't really know you, they might not even remember your name or how to get in contact contact with you again, but your family's gonna know your family is going to be really, really pushing you and promoting you and wanting to bring it up to every single person they see. They're gonna be like, look at my lashes. Guess what? My daughter's doing her lash course and all this stuff and all the things you're learning and they're really going to be promoting all your education and being like advocates for you so that you establish that trust already with that potential future client and that model. So always go for friends and family first. And so next, the best place to look for is social media. Of course, you had to have guessed that I was gonna say that, but surprisingly enough, lots, I would say nine times out of 10, nine out of 10 students who are just entering the beauty industry, they go through their courses and they have not set up their social media for their beauty account. And I'm not gonna lie, I was one of those people. A friend of mine, she sat me down when I was opening my business and she made me open an Instagram account and I did not wanna do it. And she was like, trust me, you need to do this. And so we did it and my only regret was not doing it sooner. And that's why I promote this so hard to all my students. There is no time like the present. What you're doing is interesting. What you're doing is matters. I know that you don't have the confidence right now. You think that no one is gonna be interested in these things that you're doing until you're certified or until you know a little bit more or until blah, 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 blah. But the truth is what you're doing right now is very interesting to someone. And these are likely going to be the people who are wanting to be your clients. You are setting out to find your own niche market, right? So you have to talk about yourself, what you're learning, what your experience is. You can't just project the same old cookie cutter thing and just expect to compete with like what your idea of uh, Instagram account should be or whatever because honestly you're gonna fail at doing that you're new if you want to compete with the ideal of what you think the account is going to be or should be you're just never gonna post you're never going to feel confident you're gonna cut yourself off from also attracting your ideal clientele which is a huge error because authenticity beats being fake all the time and so you should just post where you're at even what you're feeling about things what you're enjoying about things 
what you're learning about things, and this will bring your ideal client to you. So this will also help you attract models for your model call because people who comment on your photos or like your photos, those are all people who might like to be your models too. So you can reach out to them through DMs. I'm going to share a story. Sydney, she took our lash lift course and she's done a really good job of posting on her stories. And I'm also going to link below the post that she did after her lash lift course to get additional models. And um, that was just a really smart pose that looked very professional. If you talk to her, you might be able to just like borrow that and tag her in the post too, which is, there's nothing easier than that. So something like what Sydney did here with the story is very smart because you're engaging with your audience and then you can use a sticker. So when you use a sticker or poll, you can go in and I'm going to show you here on our account because obviously I can't get in her account to see and show you guys how to do that. But you go in, you click the top right where the stories are, you go into the story, you go into your viewers at the bottom of the story, and then it will show you all the interactions with the story. So you can actually go in and talk to those people that have like interest in your story. So anyone who clicked on a button, unless they say, no, I hate this, is someone who might be interested in being a model for you. So just ask them right there on the story and reply to those potential clients or models that have replied to your stories. You can also boost these social media posts if you want to reach a wider audience, but honestly, starting small, if you're offering a free service, you're gonna get a lot of people who are responding. If you are not new, um, I don't think you need to offer a free service. Definitely at least charge a product fee if you're just upgrading your service. Charging a product fee is a really good thing to do sometimes because this will lead to more of a future clientele. You want to avoid wherever possible people who are just looking for freebies because you do want to develop a relationship with this person, right? And someone who's actually genuinely interested in like this and is going to really impact their life. So someone who might come back and get like fills from you as a lash client or lift client, not just like someone who's just there to have one experience and then never see you again, because it's really not the best use of your time. Donate your time to someone who this service is genuinely gonna change their life and make it better for a long lasting amount of time. So another tip with finding a model is always take a deposit. Doesn't matter who it is, if it's a friend or a family, always take a deposit, make it clear that if they don't show up for their appointment or they don't cancel with enough notice, then they forfeit their deposit. You've invested your time and money taking this course and you need someone who is gonna respect that and show up at least for their complimentary service and unfortunately if you do not attach some sort of monetary penalty or worth there's a lot of people who will either forget about it or just not think that it's like very serious or that you are taking it very serious at all so if you do explain to them that this is really important and that's why you're taking the deposit and then you're just going to refund it when they come in for their service, that should be fine. If a person doesn't want to leave that deposit for you, it means they probably might be no showing on you and you are just avoiding a lot of trouble for yourself. It's a really good way for you to build a backbone too in the industry because I do recommend you take deposits for the first bit of booking or have a cancellation policy and enforce it just to make sure that your schedule is running smoothly and that you are able to support your other clients to the best of your ability. And just that everyone takes you seriously because definitely if you don't take yourself seriously, no one else will take you seriously either. It is very easy to fill your models, but the hardest thing is getting over your mindset about it and building your confidence. And so take a second, be okay with feeling awkward and just realize that this is not gonna last forever. Realize that what you're doing is important. What you're doing is hard and you are learning some very valuable skills that have a value to someone else and are worth sharing. So don't sell yourself short. Facebook groups can also be a really good way for you to connect with your community. So Facebook groups, look for community groups, look for mom groups, look for buy and sell groups and post on there. And definitely you'll find someone definitely take a deposit from these people because you probably don't have as much of a history with them. Um, you can also look through their friend groups to see if you guys are connected in any way through your accounts. The more friends you have in common, generally the less someone is going to no show on you, but also the more someone might be inclined to make a connection with you. Like, oh, we were friends with so-and-so, we 
went to the same school. When you're connected with someone, that's like someone who you're more likely gonna remember or trust, and that person might become a future client. So always wanna be looking for people who we can connect with the most and who would be in our target market because those are likely gonna be our future clients. If you've done all these things and you still cannot find a model, DM me because let's chat about this. Let's go through these steps and see what you're missing because I guarantee you follow these steps and you will have your complimentary model bookings for your course booked in no time.